today I'm back with my first ever haul since being in the new house. I actually been hauling stuff at Target. Surprise, surprise, they have a little bit of everything. Obviously they're having really good sales on, um, you know, shoes and clothes and stuff like that. So um, I don't really have any makeup items that I bought just because I don't need makeup. But yeah, it's kind of collective because a few of the things I'm about to show you I have had longer than the others but I wanted to include it into this Target haul because obviously they're from Target as well, but also to get your guys' opinion on them because it's the first time I'm kind of using them and I'm still not sure about them. So anyways, let's jump right in. So Target has a line of scented soy candles that I always hear about. Um, I believe Michelle1218 talks about them a lot. Um, but I honestly love the idea of a soy candle and a clean burning candle. Um, they're really inexpensive. They're $5 for a size like this and they're easily accessible at Target. They also kind of mimic the look of Yankee Candles. This is actually um, the Very Berry one which smells so good. Oh my god, when you open it, it smells like a... Uh, like a blue Jolly Rancher or something or like a blue Starburst. Yeah. And then I got the um, Jasmine and sweet pea scent which i thought was a really sweet but clean scent and as you can tell they're kind of burned um i've only had them for a few days and at first the first day i burned them they were burning really slow which i loved because at five dollars um you know and their soy candles at that and they're burning slow they kind of been burning fast i don't know um i do keep them on for a long time though so i don't know if i'm just being picky or whatever but um that's that i'm trying to look on the back to see if they have any notes of what it smells like but they don't just directions i do love the scent of these i would not say though that they burn um and give off as much scent as yankee candles do um i don't know if there is a candle company that gives off the same scent that yankee candle does or a strongest scent um i have yet to find one i know some people say that they found them but i have yet to find one i don't know i really do love these though i love that um Target has so many different kinds and I was really excited to buy these. They have a red velvet one that I really wanted but I stood away from it because it smelled like a bakery shop or something like that and I feel like I've had so many of those candles burning during Christmas time like sugar cookie and stuff so I said let me go for the more fruity clean scents. Um, so I got these two and then the one I picked up recently is the uh, Sugar Blossom which smells really really good. It's not really florally at all it's more of like a powdery sweet scent which I really love and it matches the color of our upstairs bathroom um, just kind of like white and like pinkish so I bought that one to keep up there and as you can tell I have a little bit more um, you know in here left I just don't like to leave a candle burning a lot um, upstairs when I'm not up there in the bathroom let me know what you guys think um, if you guys have them if you guys have been enjoying them or where you recommend to get inexpensive really nice candles um, I noticed that since moving into the house I go through candles like crazy and when they start to get low I'm like okay what am I gonna get next what am I gonna get next um, luckily my mom actually dropped off um, a few Yankee candles to me I honestly will not go to Yankee Candle and spend that type of money but my mom dropped off some to me and I've been burning those um, and like I said as soon as I light those the house is like filled with that scent um, whereas these they do smell and you can smell them but better in smaller areas rather than like in my open house so that's that I went on a ramble about candles but let me know what you guys think the next thing in the bag is this new cleaner that I bought. This is the J.R. Watkins All Purpose Naturals Cleaner. It says Agent um, Netoyant, N Netoyant Universal, I guess. It's the white tea and bamboo scent and honestly this packaging just caught my eye. I went to go buy um, more Windex, which I'm not a huge fan of Windex, but my mom did use it in her house and you know a lot of the people, Vinny's mom, stuff like that, they all use them, um, but I don't know. I just, something about the scent and it's hard to find different scents of Windex. Anyways, I love this because of the packaging and I like that it's natural. Um, so I have been using it. I use it a couple times. It works really, really well on our, um, I don't want to call it Corian because we're not even sure it's Corian. It's like a Corian marble mix countertop. We only have one of those. The rest of our countertops are butcher blocks, so obviously I don't use this. But um, I do use it on that and it leaves such a nice finish. It almost leaves a finish of like a Windex slash Pledge. It leaves a nice shiny finish. Um, I didn't try this on windows. I know my mom asked me, she goes, have you tried it on windows? Does it leave streaks? I haven't tried it on that yet. So I can't really speak for that, but I love, love, love the scent so much way better than Windex smell. Ugh, I hate that. 
but um, I have been loving this. And look at the packaging. It's like so cute. I love it. And they have different scents too. I just thought that the bamboo and white tea sounded the best. Also, it's only um, a few more scents more expensive than the Windex, so I picked that up. So a few clothing items that I got. Um, I have actually worn a couple of these, and one of them's on its way to the laundry, but I still wanted to show this to you. This is a kind of like oversized um, blouse that I got. I wanted, I like shirts that are super comfy, especially for the winter to throw on leggings when you're around the house, an oversized sweater or long sleeve that's like soft and cozy. I love those and I needed some more. So I saw this at Target. Obviously you can see this is really, really big, but I love it because it, you know, it's nice and long to wear with leggings. And I like the color too. I've been noticing I've been wearing a lot of like black and grays and like darker colors so although my eye went straight towards the gray version of this this is kind of like a Henley I would call it, it has like um, four buttons and you can button it all the way to the top obviously mine's unbuttoned but it's just really comfy and cozy on it's kind of sheer so you can kind of see through it but it's the softest material and this was only ten dollars so I do think I'm gonna go back and get um, different colors they had this in a gray color and a green color and a blue color so as you can tell it kind of has like black specks on it so at first I'm like I'm gonna look like a watermelon I'm hoping you guys can see that can you guys see the black specks but I was worried about looking like a watermelon but I really do like this guy it's nice and cozy I wear like a tank top underneath you can do off the shoulder you know that type of thing um, like I said my eye went towards the gray but I said you know what I need some color in my life this is by uh, Massimo too which is like their brand so anyways Next up I got um, an essential, I just got a white tee, they had the white tees on sale, this is the v-neck, they do call this like the dressier tee, but this isn't very dressy if you ask me, I did get a large as well, um, it's actually wrinkly and I was taking it off when I still had makeup on, so I got a little bit of makeup on the v part right here, I don't know if you guys will ever be able to tell that, but you know how that goes, um, so I was pretty upset, so now I have to wash it, I don't think I'm going to dry it, but Again, really soft material. I got it in a large because I want it to be really, really big. And as you can tell, it's really, really big. So um, first time I ever ventured into the large realm, which I normally don't buy larges because I don't know. I, I regret not buying larges a lot of times because I want those oversized comfy shirts. So those are both in a large and that guy was only like $5. So I love him. I do have to wash him though. So that's where he's going. Next up are some slippers that I bought. I needed slippers really bad. I've been using like the same ones and I noticed that they had them on sale. There was a few different styles of like this moccasin, um, you know, style. I got the leopard ones because I really didn't like the other ones. They had a red pair. Um, they had like a silver, like a rose gold one, but I put it on and I just didn't like, like the tie was weird. I don't know. Anyways, I ended up going with this, which I'm normally not a huge, huge fan of leopard, but I thought they were cute and they're the ones that look the best, honestly. Um, and they were only eight dollars so really can't go wrong and they're comfy they're cozy um i got them a little bit bigger so that i could wear them with socks and stuff like the fuzzy socks i normally wear to bed and um yeah i was happy because i needed slippers and then I noticed that they had boots on sale. And I don't know if you're like me and you ruin your boots every year. I like stockpile. I do have the more expensive boots, um, but every year I seem to buy like a disposable pair of boots from like Target or something like that. You know, they're cheaper. Um, you can wear them in the rain. That's actually what happened with these. I, they are new, but I have worn them in the rain, so they look a little dirty right now. But anyways, that's why I like to buy the cheaper boot. Um, I actually got these half off. They're originally 40, so I got them for only $20. That's what happens when you wait for sales. Um, so I was happy to get these, and I do like them. They're kind of cute. Like they have like a spandex on the side. Here, I'm gonna put down one and show you this one. They have like a spandex going down the back little buckle right here and then the zipper is up here um, I don't like how shiny the leather is you can obviously tell that they're cheaper but honestly to wear them in the rain and to wear them to work I've been doing a lot of sales and stuff so I want to look put together even when it's raining when I'm running around all over the place but I don't want to worry about having to ruin my expensive boots so I really liked those and I thought $20 you can't go wrong I don't feel too bad if I do ruin them last few products I picked up another one of my yes to cucumbers color protection shampoo this is sulfate free probably one of the only completely sulfate free shampoos you will find I've said this to you guys before but I have spent days up and down CVS Walgreens Target Walmart that type of thing looking for completely completely free um, 
sulfate shampoos and this is one of the more um, inexpensive ones that I have found and probably one of the only ones that I've seen so I really 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 do love this and Vinny even loves it too I bought a few other um, shampoos since we moved into the house and um, he hated them all and for him to mention that means that they are really terrible they've been making his head itch they've been making him have dandruff stuff like that so he said, can you pick up that Yes to Cucumbers again, which I was going to anyways, because this is my favorite. It smells really, really good. It smells like cucumber melon. Um, if you all know that scent from Bath and Body Works, that's exactly how this smells. Also, um, it lathers. It's shocking that a sulfate free and stuff, um, you know, with minimal chemicals will, um, it's also paraben free, by the way. Um, will lather but um, this actually lathers really really nicely I love it I feel clean after using it and um, it's definitely inexpensive on the back here it says cucumbers packed with vitamins A and C to strengthen hair and keep color intact sunflower contains fatty acids to nourish hair and protect against breakage and aloe nourishes and moisturizes for thick shiny healthy locks love this guy also a new product that I decided to pick up this is the good from Burt's Bees natural body wash and the mango moon breeze how amazing does this sound? I picked this up because Minnie's been having sensitive skin and so have I, and I wanted to pick up a completely natural, um, with very minimal chemicals, that type of thing. I've been over this before, um, but easily accessible at like Target or wherever I normally am, am buying groceries and stuff like that. So I found this guy and he smells so, so good. Literally so good that the bathroom smells like this afterwards. It also lathers really nicely, which I really love. Um, so yeah, I've really, really lo been loving this. I only used it about twice. Vinny's used it a bunch and he loves it. So this is a winner. Um, again, this is good from Burt's Bees. is like their break off um, brand. And I really, really do enjoy this. I've used a lotion from this brand before that I loved. So I was excited to do the body, to try the body wash, to do the body wash, to try the body wash. And um, I'm pleasantly surprised. I do have a couple other like pear scents and stuff, but the mango <laughs> breeze just caught my eye. So on the back here, it says our natural body wash evokes the scent of mango, jasmine, palm trees, and a sweet hammock hanging between them. You're so not getting voted off this island. And it has like a little thing you can scan. I don't know. I really do love this. I've been enjoying it. And so far, this is probably one of the best body washes I have tried. So that is it. Those are all my products that I got from Target. Um, wanted to share with you kind of a you know range of products there but definitely let me know if you guys have tried anything as always let me know your opinion but that's really it um, I'll be back in a few days with a new video um, if you guys are interested in seeing more like home decor type of hauls um, or things to use for the home I know I included this cleaner but um, I don't know sometimes I don't know if that's appropriate to put on this channel or my vlog channel so let me know what you guys think make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel if you do want to see more of those um, we do vlog like regular day in the life vlog but um, we've been doing some tags and I also can start including some like home decor over there um, or I can put it here I'm not sure you know which one I know that my audience here is a little bigger so if you guys want to see that I have no problem putting it on this channel because after all they're both my channels so I can do whatevs let me know what you guys think anyways thank you guys so much for watching and um, any questions leave them below and I'll talk to you soon Bye.